Wyatt's introducing me to Chipotle for the first time. I've never had it. I'm gonna see if it's any good. Big old bag of chips. Big burrito. Quite warm. And where are we now, Louise? We are at Starbucks. We're gonna get something to drink. <laughs> we we don't do this normally. This no, feels like the normally. What do you mean, like go on dates? No, <laughs> we you go on guys, dates. No, we I'm do. I'm so alone. We so. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought we did, but um, we haven't gone here in a while. But this is a like memorable moment because back before we weren't dating, this is when she left to go to Australia. Yeah. We we said goodbye right here. So it's kind of like remembering the old days and liking that now we don't have to say goodbye, right? I have something to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No Did more it gets goodbyes. Worse, it worse. So show us your hand, huh? My hand? Yes, oh, what I got did henna. you get here? What is so this? So this is called henna, which is basically like a paste that dyes okay. your skin. And so they like... But it's not a tattoo. No, it's... Well, it's like a temporary tattoo. It's cool. So in about two weeks, it'll go away. Oh, okay. But this is tradition for like... Indian mm -hmm. people. That's neat. Indian women. We, I was trying to think of a good meme we could have, like on the Talos of Talks Twitter or something, people mm -hmm. could get the joke where it's like, her hands look like this, so my hands look like this. Yeah? Oh, you <laughs> should do that. Sense. It's like, we all have weird hands. That's it's like, funny. I've got psoriasis. You know what I wonder? Does the Apple Watch heart rate monitor still work through that? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Really? I mean, when the Apple Watch first came out, it didn't work through certain people's tattoos. I wonder if that like blocks it. No, this no? is a lot thinner, I think. Okay, I'm just glad it's coming up because I like your regular, regular hand idea. as well. But you can't deny how pretty this is. That is really cool. Do you think it's people really could get it like on their whole face and body? I wouldn't recommend it. I think that's really cool. Thank you. Also, your purse is awesome. What else are we trying? We're trying some new things because we've we've run into instances in the past where I'm sorry. It's that's not, okay. Where you forget purses or wallets or things. So yes. we're trying to travel more minimal. What did we get? He gave me one of his wooden wallets. Yes. So now I just have my cards in there. It's the smallest possible wallet you can have. It's because... very nice, but I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't have a clip. So I could clip it oh, on. Oh, that's because true. Because pants don't have pockets. So Why is that? Why do they always just... I don't know. Because society hates us. <sighs> society. We need to make a movie where society is just a character and it's just yeah. like this judgmental no, jerk. No pockets for you. You can't have pockets. Why? I am society. Maybe I should just get guy's pants and start wearing those. <laughs> yeah, honestly. They have pockets. It's nice. Let's go try Starbucks for the first time in a while. What did we find here, hun? A floating mug? Yes, that's what I thought. And now oh I feel God. stupid because it's actually attached to the mug. Ember edition because it's ceramic. Only $80. Oh my goodness. All these different bands. Look how swell you've become. <laughs> hmm. What are we reading, hun? Um, it's Ready Player One. You may have heard of it. Maybe. Is it's it a, a good book? It's now a motion, major motion picture directed by Steven Spielberg. Oh my goodness. I'm only in chapter two, but it's good so far. <gasps> I'm reading the Starbucks login Wi-Fi. I heard they're making it into a movie, but it's not Steven Spielberg. So, what do you have to sign in? Yeah. I made this little joke today on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I'm mostly on at Talos of Tech, of course, because that's the big one. Recently passed like 6,000 followers, so it's not like a huge Twitter, but I like to kind of go nuts on there. I just say what I'm thinking, because I'm like, eh, it's Twitter. That's really what you're supposed to do. And if you don't like it, then just don't follow me. It's that simple. I made this little joke vid, but th th there's actually a little bit of truth to it. If you didn't catch it, I'll just show it to you real quick. Basically, it has to do with all the YouTubers that were saying that the iPhone 10 is dead. It's, you know, like iPhone 10, not selling very well because a couple of companies were like, Apple's not ordering as many parts as they used to, which clearly means that a phone is dead. And then today, May 1st, all of the quarterly revenue came out. It turns out it's smashed. The iPhone 10 is still the most popular iPhone they're selling. And on top of that, they sold a total of like 52 million iPhones. It was an insane amount of iPhones. So I thought it'd be funny to make kind of a like meme about it. So I made this little thing on my iPad at lunch. Like, oh, people said the 10 is dead, but then...
it sold really well, okay? In the Hall of the Mountain King. It's a funny song, it fit the meme well. And on top of that, I also just thought that this would be an accurate time to say that, you know, guys, I'm not saying you're wrong to upload videos saying that the iPhone 10 is dead, but that by all means is an exaggeration. That is by all means saying that, oh, the iPhone 10 is not selling as well as maybe Apple expected it to sell, but did you ever consider maybe it's possible they overprepare these things? Maybe they ask for more parts than they think they'll need so that there will be more units so that they can ship them faster if need be? Just because they stop making a certain number of parts and Apple doesn't need them anymore, it does not mean that the phone is selling horribly. And now the numbers are proving you wrong. Again, you're not wrong to make out an accusation like that that says the 10 is dead when clearly it's not. Thousands of other smartphone companies would kill to get that kind of number. 52 million iPhones sold within one quarter. But at least acknowledge the fact that you are also biased. You know, I'm very upfront about this thing. I come forward and say I am biased towards Apple. I'm not a fair YouTuber. I'm going to have a skewed vision because I like Apple. But what kills me is when other YouTubers do things like say the iPhone 10 is dead, but then claim that they're not a biased channel. You very clearly are because you see this like tiny report that brings up one possibility that maybe the 10 is not selling as well as they predicted. Therefore, that makes the headline iPhone 10 is now dead, implying that no one's buying it or that it wasn't a success when clearly it's risen Apple's revenue to an extremely high rate. They had the best quarter two they've ever had before. But in your book, that's phrasing it as dead, even though whatever phone you like, whatever your favorite phone is, it's probably not doing as well as the 10 is, yet it's considered dead to you. Again, not saying you're wrong to call the iPhone 10 dead because we're YouTubers, you know, we exaggerate ourselves to, to make a more interesting title or thumbnail, but don't act like you're not biased. That's clearly showing that, you know, you don't like the iPhone 10, you're not a fan of it. So you're going to act like it's not doing very well, even though it clearly is. Just accept that, like kind of come forward with it and say, you know what? I am biased against Apple. I don't like Apple. And if you expect the channel that's going to be fair towards Apple, don't come to me because I'm not going to be. So just understand that everyone has a certain amount of bias. Everyone is skewed towards one direction in some way, shape or form. And just don't try to hide it because I don't think everyone should expect all tech channels to be fair, but what they can expect us is to be honest. When people come to my channel, it's not just because they like Apple products. There are plenty of people that watch me that say, I don't like Apple, I don't agree with you, but I like hearing your opinion. In fact, the guy we have that monitors Talos of Music, for instance, he's a fan. He approached us and said he wanted to manage that channel and we tried it out for a while. He did a great job. So now he's technically, you know, working at Talosiv as the guy who runs Talos of Music. He is by no means an Apple fan. I asked him if you were to get a new phone, what would you get? He said the Pixel 2. I said, okay, like I don't agree with that, but why do you watch me? If you like the Pixel 2, how can you tolerate my type of content? He says, because I like seeing the opposite point of view. He likes knowing that when he watches my videos, I'm going to be honest about it. And when I'm being brutally honest to all of you, I'm not lying when I tell you I'm biased towards Apple. I accept that. I don't try to hide that. So when other channels say that they're not biased, but then make wild accusations like the iPhone 10 is dead, that's just hypocritical, okay? You're, you're fine to say that the 10 is dead when it's clearly not. I don't fault you for that. You want people to watch your videos. I do too. I do the same kind of stuff. Just don't act like you're not biased. We all are in some way, shape or form. Thank you.